dear students today let us discuss the second chapter from your english course book it's a poem written by katherine tyner the name of the poem is any woman katherine tyner is an irish poetess and her works mainly denotes the sufferings of women and the poor people this is a very interesting poem because this poem is about mother and it discuss about the nobility of motherhood and nobility of womanhood as a whole while reading each line of this poem i'm sure that your mother's face may flash through your eyes see before going to the session let me tell you one thing you should have a notebook with you so that you can pause the video in between and take down the notes so before going to the poem let us watch a video ready okay
okay come back hope that you have watched the video and understood the theme let me ask you one question what do you understand from this video you just note down in your notebook one thing uh, is clear it's about uh, mother and the video tells us that mother is the last resort to all people nothing can be compared with mother we can't compensate motherhood with anything let us come to the topic see in the last lesson we have understood that there are many problems faced by women in the society and we analyzed the reason and also discussed how to empower women i hope you remember that lesson 3 l's of empowerment at the same time women play many important roles in the society for example the role of mother the role of wife the role of daughter the role of sister likewise and this poem also tells us about the different role a mother plays at home let us read the poem first four lines are here you just read the first four lines hope you have read it see there are three questions number 1 who is i stand for got it yes i here means woman any woman it can be your mother it can be my mother or anyone else mother and the second question is why are women compared to pillows and keystone see look at the line i am the pillars of the house what's meant by pillars of the house pillars of the house weed in the pillars um kariya ഏതൊരു കെട്ടിടവും നിലനിൽക്കുന്നത് അതിൻ്റെ പില്ലേഴ്സിൻ്റെ ബലത്തിലാണ് പില്ലേഴ്സ് ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആ കെട്ടിടം നിലം പരിശാവും സോ ഹിയോ ദ പോയറ്റ് ടെൽസ് എസ് ദാറ്റ് മാത്തർ ഈസ് ദ പില്ല ഓഫ് ഇച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവറി ഹൗസ് വിത്തൗട്ട് മാതർ ദ ഹൗസ് ഈസ് നത്തിങ് ഐ ലുക്ക് എറ്റ് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ലൈൻ ഐ എം ദ കീ സ്റ്റോൺ of the arch arch keystone of the arch means namukku ariya oru veedinde arch ningalkku ella ariyavunnana arch archinte ettavum avasanam vekkuna kallana keystone ennu parayunnu adinte end aa kallu maati kaniyal arch muluvan thaalbulu so that keystone is scaffolding 
the whole arch so mother says that she is the keystone of the arch so the moment uh, we take away the pillars of our or keystone what happens is that's given in the next two lines the roof and wall will collapse and the whole building will be ruined so the four lines tells us the importance of mother the significance of mother in the house look at the third question figure of speech see the whole poem is decorated with the figure of speech called metaphor what is meant by metaphor we have studied in the last year metaphor means one object or one thing is equated to other thing not similar to other thing if one thing is similar to other thing we call it as what simile when one thing is called as other thing we call it as a metaphor so here the mother poet is using the metaphors like i am the pillars of the house i am the keystone of arch so are all examples of a uh, metaphor hope you understood it so let's pass on to the next four lines look at the lines read it see i am the fire upon the hearth what does the word fire symbolize what does the word fire stands for fire here stands for warmth i am the fire upon the hearth means see pandu kalathu mikkavarum aa veedugalilakke oru fireplace undavu especially in uh, european countries thanuppu koodalulla rajyangalilakke fireplace must aan veettukarku തണുപ്പ് കൂടുതലുള്ള സമയത്ത് ഈ ഫയർ പ്ലേസിൻ്റെ ചുറ്റുമാണ് അവരിരിക്കുക നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിലും ചില വീടുകളിൽ പണ്ട് കാലത്തൊക്കെ ഈ ഫയർ പ്ലേസ് ഉണ്ട് അത് തണുപ്പിൽ നിന്ന് രക്ഷപ്പെടാൻ ചൂട് ലഭിക്കാനാണ് സ്മെൻ ഫോർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് വാംത് സോ ഹിയർ മാത്തർ ടെൽസ് ദറ്റ് ഷീ ഈസ് ദ ഫയർ അപ്പോൺ ദ ഹേർത്ത്സ് and that means what does it mean she provides warmth to the children not only children but all members of the family and look at the second line i am the light of good sun here light stands for mother is giving a lights to whole family members without mother the whole family will be under darkness that tells us about the significance of mother i look at the last two lines it's she mother who warms the earth and to without her it will be like a it will be colder than a stone that 
tells us the significance mada without her there will be no positive energy no strength no happiness in at home so cold is always uh, something negative cold is always something denote to death and all. so it will be uh, everything will be like uh, death if without the presence of mother in a home hope you understood the two stanzas see just uh, note down the points in your notebook three four questions are there just answer the questions in your notebook and uh, the next uh, three more four more stanzas are there that we will discuss in the next class thank you